Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Victor of Cars Jubilee. Today we're back in my Genesis GV60 performance. Now I mentioned in a previous video how I felt the GV60 user interface is better than the Ionic 5. So today I want to do a quick demo to show you how it actually works and for actual owners out there who may be confused how to use it, I hope this helps. Let's start it off with just basic view modes. Now the Ionic 5 has view modes as well. The GV60 here, as you're seeing right now, is in the navigation view mode. So I do have an actual destination input into the system, and that's where it's trying to take me right now. So let's say I wanna to switch to a different view mode. We're gonna focus on this button right here on the left bank of the steering wheel, the right toggle switch. The icon is double squares with arrows up and down that tells you to toggle it up or down. So let's go ahead and toggle up once. And now I am in the widget view mode and we'll come back to that. And then I'm gonna to toggle up again. That takes me to the driver's assistant view mode. Now this one should look familiar to those of you with Dynamic 5s. This one will show you things like blind spot as you're seeing with the red warnings right now. And the car is driving by. That's what that's for. So we have view modes. We have specifically three different view modes in the GV60. Now beyond that, every single view mode here has what's called an alternate layout. So right now what you're seeing is the traditional or classic layout. I'm gonna go ahead and press this button instead of toggling up or down. I'm gonna press it once, and now I see the alternate layout for this view mode. So we're still in the driver's assistant view mode, but now I have the charge and power gauge to the left, and now I have widgets to the right. Whereas before, I didn't have widgets at all. In fact, if you try to access widgets here, it's gonna tell you widgets not available. So that's the point of this alternate layout. It gives you the chance to stay in the view mode, but have access to widgets. But if you don't like the complicated look of it, you prefer the more traditional gauges without the widgets, you have flexibility there. Now, like I said, every view mode here has an alternate layout. So this is the driver assistant page view mode with alternate layout. This is the navigation view mode with the alternate layout. And then this is the widget view mode with alternate layout. Now just going back to the navigation one, here's traditional, here's alternate. Going to the widget one, here's traditional, here's the alternate. And then going back to the last one, the driver assistant, here's traditional, and here is the alternate. So let me go back quickly to this one right here. This is the widget view mode. This is traditional. This is alternate. And alternate right here looks a little funny. It looks like I'm repeating the same screens. I have two widgets here. Now, what's happening is they're pushing the widget screen to the right but they're adding one in the middle the one in the middle only shows efficiency now you will see here there's a little box with an arrow up and down that tells me how to access the different efficiency screens and that would be the right bank of the steering wheel the black button here all you need to do is swipe up or swipe down and you can access your efficiency there's no other accessible tabs within that widget right there however everything is accessible to the right here and that would mean i need to press in on the black square now you're seeing this widget is highlighted blue or teal and then i can swipe to the left i can swipe to the right i can swipe up i can swipe down and this one shows quite a bit of information we have efficiency we have tire pressure we have turn by turn direction, 
we have radio, we have weather, and certain tabs here have actually more than one page. So we also have calendar buried in there. And then here, turn by turn direction, we have compass, I think, in there. Yep, there we go. And with tire pressure, we also have the drive power distribution page. And then nearby stations, I think that's for charging. So really, this shows a lot of information. Now, I'm going to make it a little more confusing now by going back to the radio tab. And what I've done now is I've exited the widget controls. So it's no longer highlighted blue. And now I'm just going to swipe right or left and you should be seeing that it's changing the radio station. It's toggling through my presets. So essentially what this is doing is changing the radio station if I just swipe right or swipe left. And then if I swipe up or down, I'm changing the efficiency widget in the middle. And then if I wanna access the actual widgets inside here, then I press it in and then I toggle or swipe left or right, up or down. So this little button here has a ton of functionality and I think I actually like it that way. This lets me do a bunch of things without really having to move my hand, without really having to look down. I already know the motions that I have to do. My hand just stays here, finger stays here, and it does everything that I needed to do. So anyways, I hope this kind of breaks down for you what this system can do, what the driver's display can do, what the view modes look like, how to access it all. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.